What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Pitching Ninja's Filthiest Pitches of the Day. Remember, before we get to those pitches, do me a favor. Heck, do yourself a favor. Hit subscribe and join Ninja Nation. And now, without further ado, here are my filthiest pitches of the day. I'm going to start with Clayton Kershaw, who had six strikeouts and four and a third innings, thanks mostly to his sliders. Now, Kershaw did uncharacteristically struggle, but his slider was filthy. He also had this beautiful Cooperstown curveball. As far as Kershaw's slider, this overlay with his 91 mile an hour fastball shows you exactly why that slider is so tough to hit. It looks just like his fastball, but ends up dropping beneath the plane of that fastball. Sonny Gray had these filthy breaking balls, as well as a painted sinker. He had seven strikeouts in six innings, giving up only one run. Dean Kramer had this wicked curveball, but was outdueled by Nasty Nestor, who had his nasty cutters and sliders working. Nestor Cortez had seven strikeouts and six scoreless innings. Framber Valdez had these dirty curveballs on his way to eight strikeouts and six and two-thirds innings. That curveball has a 41% whiff rate on the season, and opponents are only slugging 203 against it. Martin Perez had these nasty cutters, and painted with his fastball, he had six strikeouts in seven innings, giving up only one run. His ERA this season, 2.59. Dylan Cease, who was snubbed for the All-Star team but stays in Cy Young contention, had these wicked sliders and knuckle curves. And look at this sequence against Reyes here. Cease could basically tell him a knuckle curve is coming. He'd still get a swing and miss. He had four strikeouts in six innings, giving up no runs, lowering his ERA to 2.03. Reed Detmers was absolutely brilliant against the Braves. He had six strikeouts in five innings, giving up no runs. He had these nasty sliders and elevated fastballs. But my favorite pitch of his were these slow curveballs. I mean, look at these things. They're so pretty. They also show you why Detmers gets swings on elevated fastballs. He can throw a fastball way out of the zone, and that curveball still tunnels with it. So as a hitter, when you see an elevated fastball, you think it might be a curveball, and you start your swing. And just because you're watching this video, I'm going to give you Reed Detmer's curveball grip. He sent it to me a while back, and I thought I'd share it with you. Mitch Keller had seven strikeouts in six innings, thanks to his fastball and slider, but he was outdueled by my filthiest pitcher from yesterday, Sandy Alcantara. Sandy has been the best pitcher in baseball all season long, and I thought this graphic from the Marlins broadcast sums it up perfectly. This is a list of eight innings or more outings in the major leagues this year, and Sandy has more than any team. Sandy didn't go eight innings in this game, but he did have 10 strikeouts and six innings thanks to his 92 and 93 mile an hour changeups. He did have a couple of changeups that were 95 miles an hour, and he did this when his pitch count was over 100, while also hitting 100 miles an hour at over 100 pitches. Sandy's the definition of a workhorse while competing like Secretariat. He also threw some six sliders, and here's some fastball slider overlays for you. Good luck. Now on to my filthiest relievers. Clark Schmidt had these nasty sliders. Jake Diekman had this wicked slider. Yancy Almonte had this slider that dropped off the table. But my filthiest reliever from yesterday, cue the trumpets, was Edwin Diaz, who had this 101 mile an hour fastball for a called strike and a 92 mile an hour slider for a swinging strike. Look how long these pitches look identical. And then that slider drops. Hitting is one big guess. And this home plate view of that slider trajectory shows you just how much it looks like a fastball. Not fair. And now, my Pitching Ninja moment of zen. No, this isn't a sausage race. This is Daniel Vogelbach scoring on a hit. Cue the Chariots of Fire music. What is up, Ninja Nation? My picks of the day today are for Max Fried to have over 5.5 Ks and for Nick Lodolo to have over 5.5 Ks. Here's the current line. In his last few outings, Max Fried has not had a lot of strikeouts. I expect that to change after the All-Star break. And I look for Nick Lodolo to have a good outing against the Marlins and rack up some strikeouts. So, those are my picks of today. What would your picks of today be?